Hi there guys, hopefully you're all well. Today is the day we are off to Italy. I am so excited that I have barely slept a wink last night. Mainly worrying about this heap of crap, making sure it, uh, it gets us there okay. We've got all the provisions inside. We've got a couple of pillows, pack of 12 cans of Red Bull, Coke, Pringles and chocolate. Hopefully we can go through the night and uh, have a few naps if we drive in shifts. And um, now I'm just on my way to pick up Ed. And I've got to try and remember which one was his house now. Because I can't remember. There it is. There we go. I know where it is now. Now, he's not seen this car yet, so it's going to be a nice little bit of a uh, reveal for him. So we're here, let's go and uh, knock on the door. Are you ready for a road trip of a lifetime? Uh, where are we going? Let's go to Italy, why not? We're going in a Renault, aren't we? Yeah, in a Renault and a, and a, Cit and a Citroen and a Peugeot and a, not, all that not jazz. Alpha, no, we're not going to go in an Alfa. Okay. Right, come on then, let's go. Come on then. So, you ain't seen it before. Um, go and have a look at it, see what you think. It's red. It's red, yeah. Alpha red. Weird stickers all over it as well. Hmm. Oh, they look comfortable. Mm -hmm. Only, they Only the best leather for Mr. Denston. Thank you very much. All packed up with our crap in the back. Even got a little cooler look for some cold drinks. Just, uh, Passport. You got one? I've got one of those. It's amazing what you can get off eBay these days. Yeah. They're all going to be okay. What do you mean going to be okay? What have you forgot? Because I knew you'd turn up in an alpha. Of course. So I think if you stick that on. Oh, well, yeah, that's all right. Then we do that then. What do you yeah. reckon? Yeah, go for it. You've got some double sided tape. I have in there, yeah. There you go, then, alright then. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon? Do you reckon I'll, I'll Better on the front, though. What do you think? Stick it on the front, above the okay. above the alpha badge. Actually, can I have Nice little space for you there, look. Tell you what we'll do. We'll leave that for now. Can you tell what we'll do? Can we just pop the thing? Yeah. I can find the key. Just stick it on. Alright, just the person that put them on was a bit pants. Can I, uh. Can I put my sticker on? Yeah, yeah. What you got, what you got, what you got? Do you want your hat? I'll have my hat, I'll have a hat. You got me hat? Yeah. Oh, pizza hat! Does it suit me, fellas? What we got in the front? What we got in the front? What we got in the front? <laughs> right, are we all ready then? I think so. Let's jump in and get going. Right, we're off. Shades are on, hats are on. Sat nav is on the go. Let's go. Let's go. It's been over. We missed you in a bit, so. Let's get that a bit more central. There we go. Can we zoom out a bit? No. Um, what way, right? I'd go right, yeah. So what we're going to do, Ed? We're going to Italy. Yes. We booked accommodation. Yes. What we're going to do for four days in Italy? Well, I think eat some pasta. We're going to eat some pasta. Maybe some pizza. Munch on some pizza. Yep. A um, little bit of uh, wine, a little bit of vino. Vino. Uh huh. And um, plenty of beer, of course. Can you speak in Italian? No. I can speak a little bit of French. I can. I know. Uno, dos, trois. Um, Bellissimo. Uh, je m'appelle, that's, that's, that's that Italian, no, not je, French. No, Bellissimo. Bellissimo. That's Italian? Yeah, you, you said we were speaking French. Oh. <laughs> we, the majority of the journey is to France, believe it or not. That's why I said we should go in a Renault. Yes, well, next time. Next time, right, when we've got more time and we don't plan it on a drunken night out yep. several weeks before we go, Yes. we'll get two cars, Maybe three cars if we can get Lee into it. Oh yeah, now Leo wanna come in the Porsche. Leo wanna come in the Porsche. Yeah, come in the Porsche. Um, so and we can do something else. Whether we do the same again, if this car lasts, we could use it again. Yes. But I can probably see us getting a flight back from Italy. Do you think? Yeah. I don't know. It's it's a five hundred quid car. I've done 
zero miles in it other than coming to pick it up um things i've found wrong with it so far is the sounds like the anti-roll bar is knocking its nuts off um stop starts goes okay but other than that it, it seems all right so i ain't going to complain for 500 quid yeah it's doing the job i want it to do um whether it will sustain ed's driving i don't know oh no i'm very i'm getting old now and i am yeah um, but you know, we've got two mechanics in the car. We've I mean, got no tools. Hey, we've got a 10 mil socket. We've got a screwdriver. We've got a breaker bar and a 17 mil socket to get the wheel off if we get a wheel change. You've got any cable ties? Uh, I didn't bring any cable ties or or gaffer tape. Right, okay. So uh, we're we're going to be a bit stuck if we need gaffer tape. Yeah. So yeah, right. Let's crack on for a few miles. If we have anything interesting to say, we shall film it for you guys. So far, I have a couple of complaints. What are your complaints? So the seat's comfortable, it holds you nice, so that's okay. Now, after a long journey, will it be a bit uncomfortable? Potentially. My arse is, it's quite comfortable at the minute, but yeah. I could do with flexing those butt cheeks. Right, okay. We are like 50 miles in then. So, overall, not bad. The headlining, Looks like a suit that a undertaker would wear. Hey, that's a GTA headline, you know. Yeah, but it, it, it's the material. You know, the, you know that's worth about 150 quid in parts. I'm joking. Yeah. You know the diff in the gearbox? Yes. 600 quid. I can sell that for. I can sell that for more than I paid for the car. I'm joking. Yeah. Seriously. Well, is this one going to go all the way to Italy and back? Yeah, it can still sell it. Okay. Because the diffs never get, never break. Right. So that's a positive. Yeah. So, other thoughts, it's a little bit tight. I mean, if you've got an armrest and you've got arms. Yeah, we keep so, touching arms, yeah. it's getting all romantic, isn't it? Um, one biggie. Where's the bloody cup holders? There. Oh. <laughs> it, should be, it should be there where the stereo is, but I the stereo. Because I've put the stereo in, I've had to take that out. But I brought it because I knew you'd ask for a cup holder. So, so, where do we put this? It goes below the stereo, but it's a double ditch stereo now. He's all confused now, bless him. So, yeah, but... So just, just open that. So, no, it's, it's evidently it's broken. Oh, you don't broke it already. Well, that was a coin hole, that. Oh. No, no. It's broken. Oh, bro oh money in there. Oh, money. So, so that's a couple of them. Yep. He's the biggest complaint. He can't have it anymore. So there was one, but there was only one. Only so, one. Alfa yeah, Romeo, right. right. He's, you've never owned an Alfa, have you? No. You even owned a Fiat? Yes. What Fiat have you owned? Fiat 500. Cool thing. Well, brought up with the engine, got put an engine in. So, oh, all right, okay. So, yeah, it's all right. Um, so we'll, we'll find out in about 2,000 miles whether he'll actually buy one. I still, I still have to say Renault, right, Renaults, they even have little cup holders in the middle with a smaller one to be Renault. Well, this is old. This is like, well, this is like, this was like the first Alpha that I think that actually came with a cup holder as standard. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Alpha, well, Alpha so, 156 never had a cup holder. So, when you brought your Discovery, yeah. Right. Were you looking at the options and go, oh, I'm going to buy a cup holder. Let's add that option on. Or does it come standard? It came with standard. Yeah. But, which you'd, you'd expect. Yeah. But, um, I didn't actually have to add that much. It's just a heated steering wheel pack because I'm stupid and I need a heated steering wheel. Yeah, but cars, come on. I mean, I sold the other year, well, the other, the other month, a end registration Cleo. Yeah. Right. It had cup holders. No optional extras, a standard, an end reg. Yeah. It's, the Alpha have always been style over comfort and substance. It's always been a case of, it's like the, the bin, it's been, our binnacles always used to be tiny and pointed towards the driver, all the dials used to be pointed towards the driver. And now they've gone like everybody else, you've got your digital screens. They were probably one of the last manufacturers to give you a full TFT display. I mean, Overall, we'll, well, probably we'll find out. Like, 
so far we have had zero faults. Yes. Yeah, Although, the suspension knocky, and I think one of the injectors <coughs> isn't the best. It's a little bit if the hesitation a bit. There wasn't. There was a, an awful knocking noise on the floor that I could feel under my feet. So I was like, "Ooh, what's that noise?" Turns out it's the ground surface. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so far so good. I mean, the aircon's not too bad. It's it's, it's it's all right. It's not the best, but it's keeping us cool. Yeah. It's, I uh, don't know what it's going to be like at thirty-five degrees though in uh, in Italy. No. Well, we've got to be getting on for 25 degrees here, and we're, we're lovely and chilled. So tell us what the temperature is outside. Uh, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, Celsius Fahrenheit. Which what? No, why are we in Fahrenheit? Um, because it's Italian, and I haven't changed it over yet. Can we change it over? Because that's we like, can't change it over yet. I mean, that's like having it in. Yep. Old money terms. No good for me. It's American, isn't it? No, it's Italian. Well, you know what I mean. They all, they all, yeah. they're always wrong in America. I can't believe in America they still work with inches. Do they? Inches and fractions. How fucking old fashioned is that? Yeah. That's not the right. Yeah. It's a lovely day to uh, to travel though. Fine, we're what, an hour into it if that? Yeah. On the M40. Yeah. Traffic's not too bad. We've got 83 miles to go. Yay. We'll get there. We're going to see because we've set off about, I don't know, about four hours earlier than we were going to. Yes. So if we can get earlier to the ferry, that means we can blast on four to six hours driving in France. And then we might just stop for an F F1 hotel or whatever you said it was. Yeah. And then just get four or five hours kit and then crack on again because it means we can't, we can't check into the accommodation until 3 pm tomorrow. So we'll be hanging around all day, so it might make sense if we're tired to stop, catch a bit of sleep, and then crack on and get there for, say, lunchtime, and then we can at least lounge by the pool for a few hours. And if we do break down, just putting this out there. Yeah. You mean when? Well, yeah, when. Whatever. He doesn't trust my abilities as a mechanic to pick the right car, I think that's what it can is. Can I go onto Facebook Marketplace whilst we're in France, if we're making that far, and uh, can we buy a Renault? I'll tell you what, I'll do you a deal. What? If the car breaks down and we can't get it going again, yeah. we'll buy a Renault and drive out. That's a great idea. If it doesn't break down, are you going to buy an Alpha? Ah, uh, well, you see, not too sure on that. No, oh well. No, 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 no Renault then. Next time we do it, definitely a Renault. Yep. I think, I think there's other things we can do. We could um, do a Novo Ring. Yes. I would example by a uh, Twin Spot GTV. A nice little two seat sports alpha. car. Another Alpha. It's got to be an Alpha. All my channel viewers want is Alphas. I might be able to squeeze the odd Fiat in there every now and again. And the Land Rover video went there quite well. And um, yeah, get two cars on the go. We'll go to the Nürburgring. Something equivalent ages. What could you get Renault wise? That's say around 2000. 2000? Yeah. As in the year. Um, Something sports, eh? Yep. Could you pick up a 172? Yeah, I know where there is one. Just sat on his drive. Yep. He's lost the keys for it. Even better. Um, it's a 52 plate. So, yeah. 2002. It's been 2003. But yeah. Good then. So, we've made it 70 miles. And uh, we've got a major loss of power. What we think is because it's so hot outside, I think the EGR valve is stuck open. And um, just coming off the motorway then to the services, we could get no revs out of it at all. So we're going to see what we can do for outside and uh, see if we can get it running again. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, hang on, hang on, I've got to find the keys.
grab it. Nope, it ain't. What we just ended up doing is we've gone into the garage, bought some WD-40, took the intake pipe off, sprayed shitloads in intermittently, give the EGR valve a really good knock. And after about 10 minutes of messing around, it should, fingers crossed, be all right. We're now revving again, but looking at it, that EGR isn't that old, so I'm a bit concerned as to how that is blocked up so quickly. But either way, we're up Shits Creek if this goes, but at least we're in the UK and we can turn around and get the Porsche or something like that so we'll see how we get on with it anyway and they're rev by itself so fingers crossed we can be on our way again that was not fun I thought it was game over after 70 miles but between us I think mainly Ed is always busy filming um, we've got it going again but we were on the motorway we were like uh -uh, losing power nothing at all it was getting worse and worse and worse and worse so we said we'll stop at the services um it took us uh, quite a while to actually get into the services because we had no power but the, the faults it was presenting us with were egr stuck open so after a good bashing and a good draping we are hopefully back on the road but i mean i'm looking at the temperature now it's showing it's 33 degrees out and um it's fine again, but we've got power now. Yeah, we're in fourth or sixth. I mean, um, fourth. I told you she's coming at Renault. Yeah, well, I think we might be going to the uh, close, it's cheap, it's Renault and buying that at the minute. It's as long as the AC works. Pool. Yeah, the AC works, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. So we're not going to get a very good fuel economy at the minute. Still no cup holders, but that's, that's good. Yeah, we'll get by, we'll get by. Oh, dearie me. It's that EGR valve, so we'll stop at the next services, see how we get on there. Worst case is we need um, a couple of empty cans of coke, a uh, razor blade, and um, a 10 mil ratchet, and a 13 mil ratchet. Uh, yeah, 10 mil ratchet will do it. We'll blank it off. Blank the cocker off and we'll be on our way again. Yeah, we'll have an engine warning light all the way, but at least we'll be running fine. We shouldn't be in limpo mode. But, so yeah, checking again in a bit. So we're now stuck on the M25 in some slow moving traffic. Luckily we have had zero more problems with the car. So fingers crossed, shh, we've sorted that one out. Um, but I was pooing my pants a bit then I thought we were at to get ourselves onto eBay and Facebook and, and buy another car. But um, no, we're all right, we're all right. And that's just traffic now. So nothing else to report yet. So hopefully we'll see you in Dover. Second problem, we've had to get off the motorway because we've had a vibration from the rear end. There's a bloke flashing us. And a bloke flashing, yeah. Let's have a look. Our tyre. That's delaminated on the inside. Oh, it's rubbing it. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, dear. Okay, good job I bought that full size spare. <laughs> well, I think that is well and truly game over. The shock has collapsed. Even though I checked it and it looks fine from the outside. The M25 and the concrete runway has made it disintegrate and fall apart. So I honestly think that is game over for this car. So we're at a point now, the car is buggered. We can't get it going. We can't get a shocker anywhere locally. 
The closest one we can get is in Kent, but then we need the tools to fit it, which we don't have. So we've tried to hire a car. We can't hire a car to go outside of the UK without 72 hours notice. So we buggered to hire a car. So if you remember at the beginning of the video, we're going to try and source another car. A Renault. We've looked for an Alpha. Can't, can't find one. one. But we have found a Renault. So if it all plays out, he's going to come to us, pick us up, take us to view the car. If the car's okay, because he's an ex Renault mechanic. Um, if it's all all right, he's going to come back, pick me up, and we're back on our way again. But yeah, we ain't going in an Alpha, I'm afraid. We definitely ain't going in an Alpha. Yep. Yeah, that's full of filler there. Oh. All the way down. Well, find out in the next episode later this afternoon if we buy this Renault or even if we make it to Italy. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget I have a donation going to St Giles. I'll put it on the screen now. And you also have a discount code to Alpha Shop, which is here.